Till now we have seen how we have made a publisher account on Commission Junction. In the last video, I forgot to mention one thing. The email that we had received from Commission Junction, that is our account identification number, username, password, below that email, a message is there. In order to complete the payment information required for your account, you must log in into the CJ account manager and complete your tax information by filling out and submitting one of our electronic tax certification forms. Uh, this is mandatory for all the users, all the affiliates of Commission Junction to fill in the tax information. In this video, we will see an overview of our Commission Junction publisher account or affiliate account and also the steps to fill in this tax information. Okay, so we will begin with logging into our Commission Junction account, a username password. I will simply copy the username. Then I copy the password from the email that we received earlier and I simply click on go. So as we had seen earlier, this is my publisher account interface with Commission Junction. Now let's first finish the pending task that is submitting the tax information. Okay, let's click on account. Over here, I have already filled one form but I will again show you tax information. Click on edit. It is again asking for password for security purposes. I will again go to the email. I will copy the password and again paste the password and I will do OK. OK. Now there are two options, US persons and non-US persons. As we are all non-US residents, so we will simply click on non-US persons and below that two forms are there. First is certification of no United States activities. OK go through all these details if there is exception in your case then it is your responsibility to update the field but in a general scenario simply one has to type the name over here signature and submit the form this is done now let's go to the second form. Again click on edit. Now the other form that we have to fill is W8BEN certificate of foreign status of beneficial owner for United States tax withholding. Okay. If you want to get all the technical details behind these forms then you will have to refer a tax related person who knows all about all these things but over here I am simply telling you to fill in the general fields if you need more information then please consult any tax consultant okay so I will be filling the fields name business name we don't have a business name business type we will select as an individual and all these address we will fill let's see how it gets done okay so I have entered these fields name sole proprietor address then it asks for US tax identification number if required I don't have this number so I leave it blank again it asks for a foreign tax identification if any remember this is not a wet field so over here it's better if you enter your pen card details if you are having a pen card I feel that a pen card number should be entered over here okay still if you want to make it sure please consult a tax consultant but you can enter a pen card number. Now Nirmala Jain doesn't have a pen card so she doesn't enter the details over here. But if you are making an earning in India you should have a pen card. Then beneficial or authorized again I will type the name. Basically this is a signature online form of signature and we will do submit form and it's done. Okay, so you can see tax information, all these details we have given. TIN number basically we have not given over there. 
anyway it's done now again we will come back and we will see a few things about our publisher account or affiliate account with commission junction okay see this is a cgu online in this section you can get very good tutorials especially about the publisher do take some time out and read all these tutorials this will definitely help you in future if you want to make it a really big on internet it's advisable to go step by step but if you are having shortage of time then skip it it's up to you then in case of any issues or any doubts while working your program there is a contact us form you can contact commission junction directly then there is a help section you can see a lot of tutorials over there again general answers to the queries over here balance is zero whenever a lead is being generated from your affiliate link or a sale is being generated the amount will reflect over here and over here is payment status it will show you when your check was dispatched when the next payment will be made everything okay account section this is the general account section this is a payment information minimum payout is hundred dollars payment it will be by check in us dollar currency okay this is the user super user if you want to add more users you can add more users but leave it for the timing then website settings are there in future if you are going to make a website because right now we just enter ppc forms so add a new website from this link okay then there are services leave this section like this this is for advanced user then let's say we go to get links in this get links under the general category c commission junction has bifurcated or categorized different type of merchants into different section let's say you are interested in the family section okay you want to take a affiliate link for a product related to family or let's say beauty okay we will go to family let's click on family so you will see there are 57 merchants in this particular category these 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 and how see for sale they are giving 7% commission if a lead is generated they are giving $5 for sale again for sale for lead lead is something where sale is not being made but an inquiry has been made something like that okay so for lead they are giving $10 and all these things 3 month EPC earning per thousand clicks 7 days EPC okay these are general terms that we will be discussing later while doing the online PPC forms, leave them. So these are the categories, children, children, general, weddings, babies. So various merchants are there. Okay. So many merchants. Simply click on any merchant and you will see the details of the merchant. Let's say, let's leave it for the timing again. We will see it again later on. Now you can see advertiser list. In the get link section, there is an advertiser list. In this advertiser list, you can see they are total 2464 merchants with commission junction. You can work with one merchant, two merchant, five merchant, ten merchant. Initially, we will have to take approval. See over status, uh, it is showing no relation, no relationship, no relationship. So we will have to apply for merchants that we will be seeing in the next video. Then there are some smart zone settings, some relationship. You can leave it right now. Then there is a run report over here we can see the reports how much we are earning how much it is coming how much is the pending commission all the details by advertiser it can be sorted out from merchant name or by even date everything will come okay this is a new account that we have not done anything so it's all zero then there is a mail section whatever mails you write to commission junction you can simply compose a mail to commission junction and you can get a reply over here something like that then again let's go to home so this is a complete overview in the home page again you can see performance level just to get a quick overview performance level per program performance quick statistics website and everything commission earned sales lead this 
period yesterday. If you want to edit the period, you can edit the period. All these things can be gen generated. Then these are some new advertisers. Okay. So this is all about commission junction login interface or my commission junction publisher account. I would strongly request you or recommend you to spend at least one to two hours in browsing this particular login interface of your commission junction account. Things will be more easier for you to understand and to get a grip upon. Okay, and also read the tutorial that I had explained by going into the CGO online. It doesn't matter whether it, you don't understand anything or you understand a little thing, but at least go through it. So in future, if you want to refer something, you will be able to get back to it very quickly. Okay, so this is all about commission junction interface. In the next video, in the next section, we will be seeing how we can apply for the merchants. Right now, we have not applied for any merchant. How we can apply and how we can take the links. Thank you.